Rafin 360 Plus Prestige Review. Hey guys, welcome to Tennis Evi Galiba Record Review. My name is Clinton Thompson and I'm really proud to present you the 1987 legendary Prestige Racket. This is a new model for 2020. It's called the Graphene 360 Plus Prestige. The biggest update to the Prestige 2020 model must be the integrated Graphene 360 Plus which I could really feel out there in contact. So the racket in the shoulder through the new spiral fibers like in the gravity makes the racket more flexible and the ball is longer in contact and I actually had a nice whip feeling so good control with power. I know this seems to be said a lot about new rackets but in the, in the Prestige, because it's, it's a really classy frame, it has a long history, the racket has this, this, this great sound and yep. the Prestige don't really change too much, but in, sometimes they get a bit stiffer, sometimes a bit softer over all the years, but this racket comes back to its core basics, I can I really feel the power and the flexibility. Which really made a good combination was the combination of the new racket with the new strings by head, it's the so-called head lynx tour in the champagne color which made uh, the record even a bit crisp in the sound and it actually felt like there was a dampener in the record but there wasn't so just impact sound is a really really good sensation in combination with the lynx tour on the new prestige you guys know the most important thing about a racket is the color and the design of course the playing feel but we do not want to have an ugly racket in our hand do we so the new prestige I'm really looking forward to see the new Prestige out there on the courts. The bright red with a mix with the Bordeaux red classic color of the Prestige and the throat of the racket mixed with bright orange details in the writings and letters of the Prestige is a really, really good combination. And I really like the, the, red, the red grommets, which also been done a few Prestige models back. So it's a nice mix in the black grommet world of the Prestige to see it all red again. Another interesting feature would be the matte and glossy combination in the finish. So the top part of the racket is matte and the bottom part, the Bodo red part, is nice and glossy. Now let's break down the specs of the Prestige. Before I start, I want to tell you something about the CPI model. It starts at 100 and goes up to 500 through the entire head range. So you can choose your model suited to your playing style. 100 is more demanding, more difficult and it goes down to the easier models around 500. So I want to start with the easiest model called Prestige S. It comes with the, all rackets come with the 360 plus graphene. They all come in the standard length of 685 millimeters and the Prestige S comes this year with a 640 inch frame, 295 grams and a 325 balance and the profile is 21.5 millimeters in a 16 by 19 string pattern. So the biggest advantage in the new Prestige S to the old model is the bigger head size with a 640 inch, which is a really, really good change by head. So let's go one level up with the Prestige Tour. It comes in at 99 square inch, 11.8 ounces, a 32 balance, 21.5 profile, standard length of 685, and an 18 by 19 string pattern, which is pretty cool, the same as Djokovic's. So this racket is a bit more heavier in the handle, the same frame size as the Prestige S, but if the Prestige S is a little bit too light for you, the Prestige Tour is your choice. So my favorite choice of the Prestige range is the MP, with the CPI model of 200. It comes in at a 97.5 square inch head size, 11.3 ounces, a 31 millimeter balance, 
20 mm profile, standard length of 685 and the 18 by 20 string pattern, which is my favorite to give me heaps and heaps of control plus the power the Prestige has anyway. So this racket is a classy stated frame, the specs haven't changed much, but the 360 plus graphene does make the racket different to the old models. So you're looking for a 16 by 19 Prestige? Then the Prestige Pro is your go. It has a CPI 300, uh, 95 square inch head size, which is a bit smaller than the MP. It comes in at 11.1 ounces, which is a bit lighter than the MP. And the balance is a bit more head heavy with 315 millimeters. And the frame is a bit thicker, or the thickest frame of the entire Prestige range with 22 millimeter profile. The standard length of 685 millimeters and has a 16 by 19 string pattern, which is going to give you a bit more trampoline, but because the head is a bit smaller, you still get enough control and the racket feels slightly stiffer than the Prestige MP model or the other models. Now let's come down to the most legendary racket, which was known through Ivanisevic and Marit Zafin, the legendary Prestige Mid. Comes in at a 100 CPI with the famous 90 inch head size and weight of 11.3 ounces, a 310 millimeter balance, 20 millimeter profile, same as the Prestige MP, the standard 685 length or called 27 inch length, which is through all the head series the same and 1619 string pattern which gives the small head size a fair amount of trampoline which doesn't make the racket so demanding as it used to be with the 1820 string pattern so go out there try it out you have to try it actually because it's the most legendary frame by head but it's not for everybody because it's very demanding but you're gonna strike a lot of nice shots and you're gonna hit the ball in the corner just where you want to Guys, I hope you loved the review so far. As a summary, I have to say this racket is a racket for players who want to hit the ball really, really hard and try to hit those targets. I know there are a lot of rackets out there where you say a lot of power, a lot of control, it's the perfect racket, but this thing is just a legendary racket and you either like really like it or not. It used to be that way. It used to be the racket for the tournament player today with the five different models there's a prestige for everyone and I'm really looking forward to the courts in the world to see many many players with this bright red racket out there striking the ball like crazy. If you like this video hit the subscribe button give us a like if you have questions drop them in the comments we'll get back to you and we're looking forward to the next reviews make sure you don't miss it.